Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about a subject that crops up quite a lot in questions that I receive. And it's how do I run and manage a successful business and also have and run a successful relationship with my wife. Now for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Mark Coles and I help fitness professionals take their passion and purpose and turn it into a successful career. For 22 years, I've been a coach. For the last 15 years, I've helped coaches build and then scale successful coaching businesses. And so I'm pretty well qualified to not only talk about business development, but I've also had a really loving and supportive relationship with my wife for the last six years. And over the last six years, we have actually grown more in the business than any other time before. So how am I able to be as committed and dedicated to every single day and manage the relationship that I have? Because so many of you think you just can't make it work. You, you've got to put so many hours in. My wife wants to spend time with me. I want to work on the business. And these things kind of collapse after a little while. So I wanted to share something with you. Every single one of us lives our lives by a set of high priority values. And right now, my highest values are actually building wealth because the wealth that I can accumulate facilitates the quality of life that we want, but it also carries over hugely to the impact that I wanna make as a coach. I also extremely inspired to build a successful business and team and help a huge amount of fitness professionals and also continue to learn. So if I actually look at my day, you might think to me, to yourselves, well, why didn't he mention about his wife? Where does his wife fit into this equation? Well, the things that I value and the things that I'm inspired by complement everything that myself and my wife want to do. So if my wife was the highest thing, the highest priority, I'd spend every five minutes of every day with her and she, quite honestly, wouldn't want that. And in reality, in honestly, the things I'm most inspired to do are the things I do every single day, which is coaching, building the business, and helping people. So the first thing is everyone lives by a set of high priority values. And in order to build a successful business, I need to be focused on what I'm doing. But at the same time, my wife has a set of high priority values. And I actually know that one of her high highest priority values is travel. And I also know that one of her high priority values is creativity, being creative and actually having her own creative outlet, as many, you, many of you will see through her own Instagram page. And we talk a lot, myself and my wife, about each other's values, the things that we're inspired to do the most. And I know that if I was spending all of my day around my wife, she wouldn't be able to be creative. And similarly, if my wife wanted all of my time throughout the day, we certainly wouldn't be as financially secure as we are, we are and able to travel as much, which is one of hers. So with this, myself and my wife communicate a lot. What is important to her and what is important to me? And therefore she knows that I'm always understanding of what she wants to do the most. So if she wants to spend time together at the weekend and we talk about it, and I said, well, in order for us to be able to do that and go to nice restaurants, do nice things, I'm gonna to need to work Monday to Friday as much as I need to. She's like, crack on, do what you need to do. But similarly, if she's doing a website project or she's helping somebody and I wanna spend some time with her, she'll tell me Tuesday to Thursday, I've just gotta get this deadline done. And we very rarely see anything of each other. And that's absolutely fine. So we understand what's important to each other and therefore we communicate together, which allows me to do what I wanna do and allows her to do what she wants to do and we communicate when we are gonna do things together. So I have all the time in the world to run the business. She has all the time in the, in the world to do what she wants to do. And then when we come together, we do things that we love doing together. So I find this happens in a lot of relationships. You're working very, very hard. You don't understand what your wife or partner wants, which is time with you. And then as it gets towards the end of the week, you've spent no time together and all they do is shout, no, 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 why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? And you think they are being a pain. What they're trying to do is to remind you that you're not listening to the things that they want to do as well. You're not understanding what they value. And that was one of the most fundamental things that I learned about relationships is that it's not the Mark show and it's not the Marsha show. 
it's a together show. And so long as we communicate and understand what we both want to do and make time for the things that we want to do and understand what each other wants to do at different times and then come together to do those things, you end up becoming very resentful to one or the other when the other person's not listening. So that's what I really wanted to share with you today. I get all the time in the world to do what I want to do because it facilitates what Marsha wants to do. But Marsha gets all the time to do what she wants to do because I know that when she's doing what she wants to do, she's fulfilled and she's happy. Again, comes back to communication. So understand each other's values. Don't start challenging your partner when you've not understood who they are and what's valuable to them because you're equal. One of you is not better than the other. If you found today's video helpful, you'd like to see more of this, please comment below and make sure you like and subscribe to the page and I'll speak to you very soon.